night. Are you, uh... Hi, everybody. My name is Princess Colgrove, and I'm an interpreter for California State Parks up here at Patrick's Point State Park. <clears throat> and today, I'm going to talk to you all about our traditional bark skirts. So this is our maple, what our maple bark skirts look like. Um, this one belongs to my auntie and it was made by my grandmother Callie. And bark skirts, traditionally we would wear them every day. Um, it was kind of like how now we get up and put on a pair of jeans or put on um, a skirt. This was our everyday wear. We wore it every single day. Um, and now, like currently, we wear them more at our ceremonies and our dances. And when, like I've talked about before, when we our girls have flower dances, um, the flower dance girl and her family go and gather bark and they make a bark skirt similar to this one. And it's worn during her flower dance and at most ceremonies after. And so after um, our girls have their flower dances, they have a bark skirt that they wear through the night of our ceremonies at brush dances and they wear them at the jump dances and different ceremonies that we have. Um, this particular one was made like I said, by my grandmother, Callie, and everybody has their own kind of trademark. So on this one, she, on her skirt, she puts a braid along the top and you'll see in different bark skirts that a lot of them are different. Some of them are just folded at the top and some of them are, you can't see the top. They just have the bark that hangs down and other people put shells. This one has both shells and a braid. Um, I have my own bark skirt and in mine it has this braid and it also has coins from the 1700s that came from my great grandfather. And so everybody's bark skirt is personal to them so that's why we add these things. Um, I'll stand up and hold it for you. And they hang like this. And so they're used up and down the coast. And everywhere that you go, they might look a little different. So for some, they are a lighter color depending on where the bark was gathered. And so some will be darker like this one. This one is a little bit darker and others will be very light. So they'll be um, lighter shades of brown and they you do gather them in a certain season um, and it comes from a sweet maple tree that we have all up and down the coast here and they grow kind of in dry areas but that also get a lot of moisture are there any questions that anybody has so far that we could answer? How do you put on the skirt? <laughs> you wrap it around your waist, right at your waistline, and it's tied. And generally, we tie them pretty tight because they are not super long. Can you wear more than one bark skirt? Um, some people do wear more than one bark skirt. They layer them on top of each other. Generally, it's just the one bark skirt that people wear, but you can layer them. When um, our girls wear the bark skirts, they're also looked at as being a respectable young woman because people know that they have gone through either having a flower dance or they know what they they are supposed to do during ceremony and during everyday life. And so they are very, they are looked highly of, I guess you would say. Are there any more questions? So why do, do some girls not wear bark skirts during ceremony now? Yeah, there are a lot of girls that just wear cloth skirts, but it's because not everybody has access to a bark skirt. It's not because 
any certain reason everybody just has their own situations and so when girls do have access to bark skirts they generally wear them are they comfortable sometimes they can be comfortable sometimes they can be a little itchy but for the most part they are pretty easy to wear and pretty comfortable do you wear anything under your bark skirt personally i wear pants or shorts or a long skirt under my bark skirt um a lot of people do that too i know one ceremony that we wear it for other than the flower dance is our brush dance ceremony and during that time we dance all night and so through the night we wear bark skirts until the morning when we put on shell dresses Are there any other questions? Can you talk a little bit about what happens when the uh, strand of bark gets dropped? Is that? Yeah, so what we believe and what we tell our girls is to take really good care of your bark skirt and not let pieces get really um, thin or kind of straggly because when they fall off, um, our old people used to say, or still tell us that when bark falls if a boy comes and picks it up that means they're gonna fall in love with you and so me and my older cousins are always kind of picking up the bark behind our younger cousins and behind the girls that we dance with so that boys aren't picking them up we're on redwood interpreter <laughs> yeah let's see if we Got a few more questions. I'm just trying to open up the chat right now. Maya, you're asking great questions though. If you have another question. Do you love your bark skirt? I love my bark skirt personally. <laughs> I've had my bark skirt since my flower dance when I was 13 years old and I still wear it all the time. When we store them, we roll them so that they don't get, um, they don't get torn or different things, or we put them on kind of a mannequin. A lot of people have different um, mannequins that they put their bark skirt on and leave to air out or dry out. Um, another thing about the bark skirts is that they can get completely wet and they will be, they dry really fast. And so during our flower dances, our girls go down to the ocean or down to the river and they do a spiritual bath and you can get waist deep um, in your bark skirt in the water so that you can do whatever it is that you need to do and you just kind of hang them either on we hang them on the side of our houses or different ways so that they can dry but they can get completely wet and they don't mildew or mold or anything why do you hang your skirt on the outside of your house during so, your flower dance so during the flower dance um we hang our bark skirts on the side of our house so that people that are walking through or the people that are camping with you or your family members know that you're in the house and know to kind of stay a distance from that so they don't see you because you're not supposed to be seen during that time and so when the bark skirt is not hanging on the side of the house that means she's not not there at the moment and she's on her run this is only during her flower dance. Yeah, this is only during the flower dances. What kind of bark is used? Um, it's a sweet maple bark. And when we gather it, we um, only take what we need. So you'll only take a piece off of um, the tree about that big. And we peel the outside layer off first and leave that because we only take what we need. And the, ma the maple trees that we use, um, when we take care of the tree, we put dirt back on the tree after we get the bark, it grows over. And so after about five years, you can get, you can get bark off of the same tree because it grows back and it heals itself. And so you can get, for me and my sister, on my bark skirt, we got strips from different places and it's just about she has her bark skirt now but we were able to get pieces of maple bark off of those same trees that we got from mine and so they heal themselves over time do you just gather or does your family gather um it's usually a family thing so when i go gather it's usually me my grandmother my aunties my mom my sisters my cousins 
Um, and a lot of girls have a lot of people that help. My brother has gone and helped us too, so it's not just the women that go and get bark. My brother is really tall, and so he get he's able to get strips that are twice as long as this. This, how long do you think this skirt is on you if you were to wear it? Um, it go this skirt goes about to my shins, and some girls' skirts are longer because they want it to cover more of their leg. But this is the general size, I think, about your mid shin. Is this skirt considered thin or a thicker bark skirt? Um, this one is kind of right in between. It's not super thick, but it's not super thin either. They are, there are skirts that are thinner and don't have as much bark, and there are skirts that have more bark and are a lot thicker. Don't think we have any more questions. Okay, well, if that's it, we're going to wrap it up. Thank you all for joining us today. Um, we are staying distanced in the park and wearing our masks when we are around people, and we appreciate that everyone tunes into these lives and watches from home. So thank you all. Join us next week at 3 o'clock and through our Facebook lives through the week.